Welcome to this channel. I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial we will make a board app like this. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to draw something. So you can draw anything you want. And you can also change it to whiteboard and draw anything you want. And you can change the line width. I'm going to change it to be 20. And here you can see that it is too thick because I changed to 20 and then I can clear it you can also put some text so you need to select this text so I'm going to put subscribe text and the font size is going to be 30 so you can put whatever you want and then you just need to click somewhere in the board I will click here and if you click here you can see that it is appearing so let's start making our app so this is part one. This is part one of the board app which we are going to make. So now what we are going to do is that in this part one, we will finish the design of this board app and also do a simple drawing in the board. The other things will be done in part two of the board app video. Yes, so now let's start. First, you need to make this if you go to screen orientation you need to make this landscape because it's going to be like this landscape mode so now we are going to if you go to drawing and animation here you can see a canvas drag in that so in this canvas we can put some image sprites so we will learn about these image sprites in the later tutorials and we can also draw in this canvas. So now I'm going to put this canvas height fill parent and even the width is going to be fill parent. Yes. Now let me drag an horizontal arrangement and make the width to be fill parent. Now what we are going to do is that we need to change the background image. We need to put a background image here. So you can, there are many background images. You can choose whichever you want. You can search whiteboard or blackboard in Google and put a background image here. So now I'm going to go to background color and here I'm going to put I'm sorry, it's going to be a background image. So here if you see in the canvas background image, upload file. So I'm going to upload a file. So now I have uploaded this black.jpg. Board picture, I'm uploading the white. So here you can see that I have uploaded this one this whiteboard and then even this blackboard which you can see in the canvas so there will be an option of selecting which board they want so now first we need a label here align horizontal should be sorry align vertical should be center now let's change the label text to be line width and then we need a text box so here we have a text box so th here they need to type the line width of the of they draw for example if they put 5 the line will look thick when they draw and if they put 2 it will look thinner so now here you can see in canvas properties the line width is 2. We are going to change it to 5 default. And let's change this text to be 5. And the hint is going to be line width. And now let's make this smaller. We are going to put numbers only as they can type only the numbers because it's width. And then let's put... The width, the width should be 
the width of the text box should be 5%. Yes. Now we are going to put a spinner. So if you don't know what spinners are, they are just like drop down. So you just need to click on that and some options will come and the user should select an option. So the options are going to be whiteboard, and then blackboard. So these are the two options which they can select in this spinner. Next, we need a button. This button is going to be clear. And then the font is going to be bold. So this is to clear the whole board. Now we are also going to bring another spinner. So this spinner, they will, there are two options. One is to draw. And the other is for inserting text in the board. So we have put two items here. Now set its align horizontal to be center. You can also put it left or right. I think center will look good for this. Next we need another text box. This is going to be for the, let's put the hint as font size. So this will be only the numbers. So this is the font size for the text. If they select text in the spinner, here they need to enter the font size. So I'm going to change the width to be only 5%. Now I'm going to drag in another text box. So this here they will type the text. So if they select the text option which is here, they need to type the text and click somewhere on the board so that it will get inserted. So now we have finished doing the UI. Now what we will do is that we will just do a simple drawing so they will just drag in the board and a line will come so we are going to do that the others we will do in the next tutorial so here we have the canvas so go to canvas and here you can see when canvas one dot dragged so when the canvas is dragged it needs to draw a line so call canvas one dot draw line so x1 will be Will, it's going to be pre, pre x and copy paste. This one is going to be pre y and then current text is going to be this one and current y is going to be this one. So now there is one thing we need to change in the canvas. So here if you go to the canvas properties the paint color should be white because in the blackboard, if we put black, it will not be visible. Now, in the part two of this app, we will do all this line width and then these, if they select whiteboard, it will change to whiteboard like that. We will do the other things. So here we can see our app. So now we have done only the simple drawing. So now let me draw. Here you can see that it is coming. And then the other functionalities we will do in the next tutorial.